hello friends welcome back to my channel fitness geek in today's video we are going to create a virtual environment for python and windows so those are the steps that we will need uh, we will use the command prompt or the powershell you can use any of those i'll try to use both of them and i'll show you you know a few errors that you might get and how to uh, you know overcome that and fix those so first let's check what's the python version we have we have got 3.11 uh, so the new versions of python they come with your when already installed let's check our when version so python m uh, when and help uh, so yeah it is already installed so we don't need to install it let's clear the screen this is my folder where my python application is stored let me go to that folder now we are at the folder we have got an application already there we have got the requirements.txt file it's a very basic sample flask app and we will uh, install the requirements so we'll create the virtual environment and we will run the application in our virtual environment if I show you my app.py, it's 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 a sample, you know, just just a hello world kind of application. So that is our app.py <laughs> Docker file. It's, it's just there because I was using it for one of the Docker file uh, demo videos. It is not for this one. So now let's just do a dir, and these are the files in our location app.py docker file and requirements.txt let's try to create the virtual environment python hyphen m when my flask virtual environment well so you can give any name that you want once you do that once you run it you will see this folder getting created in your location that you have you know uh, the, the current location where you are in it has created my virtual environment now if you go inside you will see three folders include library and scripts inside the scripts there is this activate file which is what you will use to you know, activate your virtual environment so you will see activate.ps1 and activate uh, batch files so to activate our virtual virtual environment you will need to so we have uh, see first we have created like first we have checked when is present then we went to the folder where our application resides we created the virtual environment now we need to activate this virtual environment so to to actually activate it you just need to you know uh, run those batch files that's under scripts so inside the uh, your virtual environment scripts folder there is a file called activate so let me just go inside my virtual environment scripts activate if i run this it should run the ps1 that is the partial file if you see the error it says it cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on the on the system so from powershell i'm getting this error because uh, my powershell the session is not allowed to run any of these scripts so i'll have to uh, change the security policy if i do the same in command prompt it should run fine Let's do the same in our command prompt. DIR gives you all the files. You can see our virtual environment. Let's activate the virtual environment from our command prompt. So this would run your, uh, you know, activate dot like the batch file. So that's my location scripts activate 
and there you go our virtual environment is now activated now uh, let's try to you know uh, fix that error that we got in partial so execution policies you know are not allowing me to run my activate.ps1 so what you need to do is just set the execution policy to remote signed or unrestricted uh, unrestricted is is like just allowing everything to run so i would just do a remote sign so all you need to do is just type set iphone execution policy and there are a few parameters that i mean few uh, categories of these like scripts that you can run like unsigned remote sign it is not allowing me to run this so i have to run this command as administrator open now let's go to the folder where our app.py is stored our python folder so let's do a cd go to our python folder let's do a dir these are our files now let's run our set execution policy so this will change our execution policy currently it is restricted so we are not able to run any of these ps1 files if you set it unrestricted that would allow any you know files any of the ps1 files to run without asking for any approvals or you know it, it, that's that's not a very good uh, practice so i'm not gonna do it as unrestricted i'll just cancel this i'll change the policy but i will uh, allow remote sign files just change it to remote sign now i'll confirm now i can activate my virtual environment so now that i ran the you know uh, my flask when our scripts activate it ran the activate.ps1 file uh, yeah so if you see previously we were getting that error that it was not able to activate because it was not able to run the ps1 file now let's try to run our app.py so we are already in our virtual environment i'll try to run the python app.py should get an error uh, we got the error module not found error so we have not installed flask which is uh, being imported in our app.py now we will need to install the requirements.txt all the requirements uh, all the you know uh, modules that we will need so you run pip install uh, requirements.txt sorry actually i uh, i missed uh, yeah the r flag let me do that again uh, okay so now it should install flask as well as pandas let's quickly uh, fast forward this So we have fast forwarded uh, our requirements have been installed let's now run python app.py now if you see uh, our flask app is being served and that's the url you can find it in localhost the port is 5000 so let me just run that and yep the hello world application which is a flask app has been you know successfully deployed or successfully uh, served in our local environment and we have been using the virtual environment to host this so if you go into the folders you will see uh, the installed versions of your modules you will see the pandas you will see your flask so whatever was mentioned in you is mentioned in your requirements.txt will get installed and you should be able to run the application so that's it for today uh, 
this was a quick video uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting let's uh, yeah go ahead and deactivate our virtual environment which is a quick deactivate and enter and that should do the job thank you